All right, uh, let's get to this, too, again, while we're talking about double standards. And it's not the hypocrisy. I've always said this. It's not double standards, because if there were no double standards, you know, the left would have none. It's not the hypocrisy. It's that they don't believe what they tell you. This is the issue. It's not that Nancy Pelosi had a, a double standard that she was hypocritical with COVID. It's that she wasn't afraid of COVID when she was going into a particle vortex to get her blowout. The same thing with AOC. The same thing with Whitmer. So I want to be clear. It's not just saying, well, you're hypocritical. We're all hypocrites. Everyone here is a hypocrite. I understand that. But you can be a hypocrite and still believe in what you say and fall short of your standards. The left does not believe what they say. So Buzz uh, Lightyear, that new, the new film, yeah. has the gay kiss, as you is required in a children's film. Well, in Disney, of course. So now there have been several countries in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, who've banned the release of that film Lightyear, surprise, due to the inclusion of a same-sex kiss. Pixar's Lightyear has been banned in the Middle East over a same-sex kiss scene featured in the Toy Story prequel spinoff. The Hollywood Reporter has learned that the film is banned in various Middle East countries, including Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The scene in question involving the female character Hawthorne, voiced by Uzo Aduba and her partner, was originally cut from the film, but reinstated following the uproar surrounding a statement from Pixar employees claiming mm. that Disney had been censoring overtly gay affection and Disney CEO Bob Chapek's <laughs> handling of Florida's Don't Ugh. Say Gay bill. The UAE's media regulatory <laughs> office hairless. announced June 13th that the movie, due for release June 16th, was not licensed for public screening due to its, quote, violation of the country's media media content standards. Okay, a couple things. First off, who'd have thought the country that doesn't allow women to drive by themselves might have a problem with queer kissing in children's <laughs> movies? And then the, um, think of that statement. The employees at Pixar said that Disney uh, was, quote, editing overtly same-sex. You said overtly. We didn't. <laughs> yes, yes. You should, also, you should also probably think of eliminating overtly sexual themes for any children's films be a good place to start yeah i don't like an unnecessary sex scene in any movie i don't like that they go to a place that doesn't have any impact on the story and i guarantee you this gay kiss doesn't impact the story and shouldn't be in a kid's movie anyway i mean unless it like sets in place like a butterfly effect where the universe just is destroyed well <laughs> shouldn't it, have that gay kiss <sighs> they did cut the out the uh, requiem like ending where they yes oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> Woody and Lightyear. Both heads. Just pull out Woody. So Asian now let's... Mentoring money. And again, this goes back to the idea of, of standards. Let's see what Chris Evans has to say, you know, Lightyear star. And keep in mind that the Middle East is not a huge market for Disney. It's not like China. Um, and also Chris Evans is there because why? Tim Allen was too offensive because... Keep in mind, Tim Allen endorsed John Kasich. <laughs> He's the one... I, I yeah. knew that... He existed, but now you know John Kasich's fan was Tim Allen. So this is not a MAGA ultra-right as the left wants to label them, you know, uh, conservative. Tim Allen was slightly more conservative. You won't find anything wildly offensive from Tim Allen. You'll just find him leaning more toward the right. And so he was removed and Chris Evans was put in. But now you can never please any because appeasing crocodiles is, is, is futile. Um, Chris insane. Evans had some words to say about the Middle East. Band. This is what he said. This is how soft it is. It's great that we are a part of something that's making steps forward in the social inclusion capacity. But it's frustrating that there are still places that aren't where they should be. So no condemnation of Islam or Saudi Arabia at all. No condemnation of the ideology that would have a problem with uh, homosexuality. And by the way, it's a they have the right to have this problem. You know what? Sometimes I look at it and say, ISIS wasn't all wrong. Now, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, right? Yeah. And by the way, in Saudi Arabia, in other words, it doesn't match the intensity. When in Saudi Arabia, if you're gay, uh, there's the death penalty. You can be flogged. Who knows if you're, you know, you're going to be thrown off a rooftop. The point is, the condemnation is, it's frustrating. It's frustrating that Christians are being burned alive in cages. I know it didn't happen in Saudi Arabia. I'm just saying if the outrage matched the intensity of the offense, if you actually wanted to look at Islam. But you don't, because they, you know, the most extreme of, of their ilk blow stuff up. So he's had no trouble, though, when you look at the intensity and in ripping into Republican leaders who are obviously more hateful than advocating the death penalty for homosexuals. To Lindsey Graham, Chris Evans said, hey, Smithers, remember when you said this? You know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. Mm -hmm. What do they have on you? I can't tell if this shameful 180 is born of fear or thirst. Either way, we will always remember you as nothing more than a remora. Here he is to Republicans. Wow, hey, Republicans, are you listening to this come-to-life toilet spew complete lies about the integrity of our democratic process. Hey, hold on a second. That sounds a little bit more passionate than it's kind of frustrating that in Saudi Arabia they uh, murder anyone with a lisp. 
Well, technically, it's a flying test. Right. So if you fly, you're not gay, but if you don't, then obviously you were gay. Right, yeah, well, gay and, uh, in Saudi Arabia is just a straight who got his pilot's license. Yeah. Yeah, and unlike, you know, Saudi Arabia, they're not all, you know, closeted Republicans. Right. <laughs> It's just amazing. There's a, there's a lot, though, in the Arab countries, because I know that from even being in, you know. Like, of course. Because my friends would work at, like, Harmony House and, you know, uh, Sam Goody, and they'd come in and be like, uh, yes, I have a special order for John. Right. And it was just <laughs> stacks of gay porn. Yes. Yeah. What about uh, what about his condemnation of China? We have that, too, right? Right. I'm sure, condemnation I'm of sure China. he's con condemning the, the fact that they're putting Uyghurs in camps. Yeah. So he doesn't right. stand up for Muslims in China, because they can't, because right. that's a, a no. significant market. He won't condemn Muslims in the country that, by the way, they kill gays, and not to mention their, their mistreatment of women. But he will condemn Christian white conservatives for saying, hey, maybe we should have a wall on our border. He got he just went into a tirade. I can't believe this racism. Hold on a second. You're more offended by a wall. Yeah. And by the way, where At least we're not throwing gays into it. Right. Exactly. Where was he when Hillary Clinton was saying that the election was stolen from her in 2016? Right. Was he also saying, can you believe that this person is challenging the legitimacy of our elections and undermining our democracy? It's outrage currency. He doesn't believe what he's saying, or certainly he doesn't have, you know what? He doesn't have the balls that Christina Aguilera has to actually stand up for what it is that he's saying. <laughs> she does have bigger balls. <laughs> when faced with actual adversity of thought. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.